Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, you might be thinking, why am I holding four candles? No, this is not the old joke. Um, really, I suppose I should be putting them like this. Uh, but I suppose this is about where you think, oh dear, I'm just going to press pause and slowly walk away from the computer. But no, it's not that bad. Uh, I want to talk to you about um, a Scandinavian Christmas tradition that takes place today on the 13th of December uh, where we celebrate the Festival of Lights um, in the shape of an Italian saint called Santa Lucia. Okay, so basically we used her, she was a martyr um, born in Sicily back in 300 and something and um, in Scandinavia we've kind of embraced this because as you might know it's very dark throughout the winter months so we have a festival of lights and basically works the way that we form a train of young girls who carry a candle in their hands and then they sing the Santa Lucia song which is the one playing in the background here um, and uh, then they walk through halls of schools or people's homes and um, yeah but not only that uh, because firstly we use live candles we put live candles on our Christmas tree on Christmas Eve and we light them and it's a bit bonkers and we use live candles for this no health and safety there and um, but not only that they have a bride at the front of the train and that's why I put the full candles on my head earlier and she wears a crown with four live candles uh, but not only that she also holds a candle in her hands and the people just behind her are often walking in pairs behind the bride and they hold two candles so um, it's quite a thrilling experience I would say um, in the sense that there's a lot of danger involved um, I was actually picked to be the Santa Lucia bride quite a few times because of my long blonde hair. Um, so I had lived through this um, and survived to tell the tale. Uh, and uh, basically, um, this is happening all through Scandinavia on the 13th of December. And I think they take it even further in Sweden. They have big celebrations and they eat food and they uh, drink mulled wine which we call gluck and um, it's all very festive and all the young girls who sing they wear these long white robes uh, often I think in Sweden they tie red ribbon around their waist which symbolises death but let's not get into that because that's a bit macabre um, and yeah so that's what I wanted to talk to you about today this quite beautiful yet fairly bonkers tradition that we do every year on the 13th so anywhere where you can turn the lights out um, long hallways as you know it gets um, it gets dark very early um, in Scandinavia especially this time of year um, so around sort of three four it's completely pitch black so you turn out all the electricity inside and then you have this long train and it is really beautiful these young girls sort of walking down the city um, and that's what we do, so I thought I'd tell you about that today. Um, if you like this video, I would love it if you press like. If you'd like to see more, do subscribe to the channel and I will inform you of more uh, completely mental traditions for Christmas that we do in Scandinavia over this vlogmas period. Thank you so much for watching and see you again tomorrow.